Let's discuss about how to design a secure cloud data storage utilizing Microsoft Azure service and solutions. As enterprises move further along the cloud adoption curve, cloud storage security is becoming a top priority, both in enterprises' IT architecture and information security strategies. Organizations now recognize that it's critical to protect sensitive data while enabling employees to enjoy the performance and flexibility of the cloud. Cloud storage providers and enterprises share responsibility for cloud storage security. Cloud storage providers implement baseline protections for their platforms and the data they process such authentication, access control, and encryption. From there, most enterprises supplement these protections with added security measures of their own to bolster cloud data protection and tighten access to sensitive information in the cloud. Azure Storage is the cloud storage solution for modern applications that rely on durability, availability, and scalability to meet the needs of their customers. Azure Storage provides a comprehensive set of security capabilities through 1. The storage account that can be secured using role-based access control and Azure Active Directory. Two. Data can be secured in transit between an application and Azure by using client-side encryption, HTTPS or SMB 3.0. 3. Data can be set to be automatically encrypted when written to Azure Storage using Storage Service Encryption. 4. OS and data disks used by virtual machines can be set to be encrypted using Azure Disk Encryption. 5. Delegated access to the data objects in Azure Storage can be granted using shared access signatures. 5. The authentication method used by someone when they access storage can be tracked using storage analytics. In this video, we will cover about few of the terms here such as the need for keys and secrets, Azure Key Vault, authentication and authorization. In the subsequent video, we will cover about few of the terms such as role-based access control, RBAC, shared access signature, encryption in transit, encryption at rest, storage analytics, enabling browse-based clients using CORS. Let's discuss about the need for keys and secrets. So keys and secrets are used to securely store some private piece of information. It could be a password, a storage key, certificates, also it could be SSL used for encryption. So what is a key? A key is a cryptographic key represented as JWK, JSON Web Key. Example, store a.pfx certificate file that contains a pair of public and private keys. Secrets. A secret is a piece of data under 25 kilobytes at common time that can be stored securely, encrypted on that HSM, and then retrieved. What is an Azure Key Vault? As developers, we'll have often configuration secrets in their code. But what if we don't want to put configuration secret things in source code? What to do in this case? In this case, Azure Key Vault comes into play. But before getting into the solution, understand that Azure Key Vault provides several different types of storage. 
This would be very useful for passwords, connection string to a SQL database, storage account key. Azure Key Vault stores private data securely and be able to read it back. It is HSM protected and software protected. At rest, it is securely stored inside the HSM. It is pulled into compute virtual machines. And so, the key is in the VM memory. Azure Key Vault's hardware security module, a HSM, a really hardened device, is the gold standard in protection and can be used to achieve the solution. All the keys and secrets will be sorted in HSM and the application will be assigned access to access the connection string from the HSM. So the application now need not to have an open connection string on the application program itself. The connection string will remain hided in Azure Key Vault and can be accessed by application. Only when the application is authorized to access a certain connection string. Got the answer of the last question? Let's discuss about authentication and authorization. So right people or the right applications can interact with the various resources. Azure AD is used for the authentication. Azure AD OAuth2 token is leveraged with Azure Key Vault to prove who the requester is. Azure AD can set access control levels on every single resource. Let's discuss about some of the roles of authentication and authorizations. Key Vault Honor so a Key Vault owner can create the vault and can grant various people permissions to add and remove keys. Key and Secret Owners So a Key and Secret owner can create the keys, the secrets, the certificates and can add, for example, applications into Azure AD.